by 1700, some of Britain's coal mines had reached depths of hundreds of feet, and horse-powered water pumps ran night and day to control seepage. One man, Thomas Newcomen, was looking for a cheaper way to pump water, but his invention needed better quality iron. Iron smelting required charcoal. Charcoal provided heat and the carbon needed to extract the iron from the ore. You could only make a little bit at a time, so iron products were very expensive. Charcoal came from dwindling supplies of wood. By 1709, Abraham Darby was using coal as the source of both the carbon and heat in the smelting process. Abraham Darby began using coke in place of charcoal. Coke is coal that's been baked to remove tars and other impurities. He was able to make high quality cast iron in larger batches, increasing the efficiency and reducing the cost. Just three years later, in 1712, Darby made cast iron parts for Thomas Newcomen's first commercial steam engine. The first major use of coal industrially was with a Newcomen steam engine. You heated a water, filled a cylinder with steam, cooled the steam, created a vacuum, and the cylinder pulled down. And they used for pumping water out of mines. The Newcomen steam engine was cheaper to run than horses. By 1760, more than 100 steam engines were pumping water out of mines across Great Britain, using cylinders cast at Colebrookdale. These new ways of using coal sparked the Industrial Revolution. The steam engine was a sea change in energy use. For the first time in history, humans are using energy from heat to power a machine, burning coal to make something move. It's a completely new way of using energy. Starting in the 1770s, James Watt made several improvements to Newcomen's steam engine. James Watt increased the efficiency of steam engines hugely from Thomas Newcomen's engine, so he doubled the power of steam engines overnight. Great for fuel economy. Wouldn't burn so much coal to do the same job. Now, more mine owners could afford to replace muscle power with machine. By 1790, the Industrial Revolution was gaining momentum. James Watt and his partner Matthew Bolton were producing coal-fired steam engines to pump water out of mines and even power a textile mill. The first Industrial Revolution was centered around coal and what people were able to do with that coal, which was the steam engine and also the innovation of how to use coal to produce cheap metals. By the 19th century, steam engines were driving a fair old bit of industry, but water mills, windmills were still quite common, and so were animals. So gradually steam took over. It took over more gradually than people realized because it was expensive. And one of the great things about the Bolton and Watt steam engine was it used much less coal. It was more efficient than the others. 